Hello viewers, I am Ellen Kesa and this is Ellen Kesa, The Royal Talk Show. In today's episode, I am joined by the dynamic fashion Caesar, who is deeply rooted in tradition and creativity. He is the creative force behind Momini Fashion, a celebrated name in Sierra Leone's fashion landscape. His name? Find out right after this break. Let's watch The Real Talk with Aline TV Show. own daughter of Sierra Leone, Aline Kistar. Welcome back to Aline Kistar, to the Real Talk Show. Today we're going to talk about fashion. Fashion, fashion, fashion. Help me welcome Mumini. Basically, he is the fashion Caesar. I saw my icon on Facebook all over. By the way, it goes by the name Abdel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Madam Aline. Fashion Caesar. I, I actually, first time I saw it, I was like, huh? Like, what's me to call you the fashion Caesar? Well, um, actually, the word um, Caesar, um, not Caesar, anyway, Za. Oh, Za, Za. Okay. It's not Caesar, it's Za. Okay. So, um, a lot of people in King say they're a fashion king, fashion god. So, for me, I know be just why I use the word um, the fashion king. So, I prefer the word Za, the oh, fashion okay. Za. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now let's go to you and your fashion sense. Of course, we know everything you do is basically, I know it's the word outrageous, but it's more like any style you did, moment you did day, for example, like you're a showstopper. You know what I mean? So you of Yusef actually has this really, really fashion sense. But how did you decide or when did you decide to become a fashion designer? Well, um, you see, um, Mumini fashion since 1961. Um, it don't it don't start before 1961 because um, my late daddy, when the primary trailblazer, Alaji Mumini, um, he left Nigeria in 1961. Okay. And um, he worked as a tailor and a Muslim cleric as well. So he spent about 58 years till he um, passed away in 2019. Um, me and me. Uh, the three brothers them will clean at them and um, okay. will fall sorry at tailors them so with daddy come they work as a tailor now you get into a shop now godwin streets mm. very close to any watch school um that is the police axis okay then uh um, when we get another tailor shop again uh peterson street so me as a young boy they can a tailor shop go to school go um islamic school and back and forth so I think this thing starts where I go centered or secondary school when I go um, from one. We did na devotion, you know, people in the play basketball. So um, the evening before that did I get to one night up tempo up I when I be size fifty two. <laughs> Imagine small bubble work size fifty two. I just want to say fifty two. Yes, yeah, size fifty two. Very long creep and everything. <laughs> so like everybody was like, ah. The man, who say police cape, you know, like so from then to end, they always like for look different. I know okay. they I don't like for do the normal thing same. If this man if not all it wear black, then may I prefer for wear red. Mm -hmm. If all man they wear red, I, I try for wear black. I always try for be different. Be different from other people. Okay. All right. So I mean we have a couple of other um designers then um around Sierra Leone. Even though you know Boku Boku, but you know one person we really don't represent who we outside of Sierra Leone. I see they even go South Africa, like different I think you into England, like different different places and things like that. But what do you go say uh, makes you different than other fashion designers? Well one um me being a tailor, because a lot of fashion you get a lot of fashion designers then, not to tailor them. Okay. You understand? Okay. So me as a tailor, I know exactly what in people and want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I'm not just coming to fashion. The I love fashion. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it's not like what you did do so right now. Mm -hmm. It's you did one because of the people them, or you did one because of the passion or right. the money they get out of them. For me, the first thing that the passion what gets make I reach to this level. Okay. Now. Let me go to your question proper. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of brands and uh, people in the do well, and of course, now when me come in, when I take over the buying business, I watch like a lot of people who go to Senegal, go to Nigeria, 
for different outfit then. You see like the loophole, like people in Vosiritin, we not get people already offer quality service now. Mm. When people are ready for spend that amount of money, money. Mm -hmm. you understand? Because mm -hmm. you someone come on now, you tell you, say, hey, but also we'll get good clothes for work. You don't need to buy a ticket for go to Nigeria for we'll get good clothes. Okay. So the first thing I look like, you need to come offer a quality service. So that make a lot of people say, hey, Mumini expensive. It, no, 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 not like that. Mm -hmm. I will cater for everybody, but for me, I'm more of the eye and the go. Okay. So that's make the me brand different from other people. All right, cool, cool. So all your brands, all your clothes, and they, whether, um, I mean, depends on fabrics. Now, locally made, because you mentioned seeing Natilo. Yeah. You understand? So now you actually do an Ayasuna salon, because what I've heard is you, you say made in Sierra Leone, but most of these things are made in Nigeria. Well, okay, um, but in, um, when I start, just um, that was in 2013 before the Ebola outbreak. Okay. Um, I take over officially from the power. So then, then and they, I just be the work with me, Papa, and boys that we don't train. Then most of them, there is a lot of mistakes. So during the Ebola outbreak, I left here, I go Guinea for some time. Mm -hmm. Then where everything come back to normalcy, I go to Nigeria. Within first I go to try for study about fashion proper. Uh -huh. Not to just education what I don't get for me, daddy. Mm -hmm. You know, get a lot of fashion schools. Then in Nigeria, I wonder exactly how to design this, how to do this, how to do that. Mm -hmm. Then during the internet day, I get a lot of friends that I go make in Nigeria. Okay. Then I see opportunity in Nigeria. Don't forget, I don't like for say that this, but um, the fact we mean say me daddy in Nigeria and then, me a Nigerian, but me a Sierra so, Leonean. So you daddy in actual Ni Ni yeah, Nigeria? Yeah, Nayoba, Nayoba. Oh, yeah, okay. me a Nigerian, but um, now I born, now I grew up. So um. I always proud of being a Sierra Leonean. Okay. So um, the time we are in Nigeria, I see opportunity like, okay, before I come back to Sierra Leone, I don't make friends. I don't see, see I would set up a workspace. Mm -hmm. Then um, in 2017, I get a shop. But before 2017, I be done the sell clothes. Um, but I also the sell and the I mm -hmm. not get an um, outlet in a day. Uh, okay. So 2017, we can take the place now, now Palemba Road. And the machines that I've been in Nigeria, I've been looking for a space now mm -hmm. for set up a work, a work, a work, a, a workshop. A workshop. Mm -hmm. So what I can find out, a lot of them people are able to work with, they're not able to do exactly what are they tell them to do. Mm -hmm. So that's end, I just stuck in a Nigeria do all my production in Nigeria. Are you Cam? Cam. Oh, okay. Yes. Until um, two years ago, when I moved to Congo course, mm -hmm. if I'm, I'm not sure you don't ever visit the, the store, you need for come visit. Uh, yes, I will. You will see the workshop. Um, mm -hmm. I get people and they will work there. They do production both in Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Okay. All right. Well, maybe not the not mix up um, because people get to see a lot of Nigerian vibe and then, you know, you just say made in Sierra Leone, made in Sierra Leone. So it's more like, ah, how oh, many, you know, just to go get a get a thing in Nigeria, I can't put on a shop, it's saying I'm made in Sierra Leone. But I'm glad you don't, you don't clarify that day. And you're Nigerian blood. <laughs> so either way. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy you're representing the Sierra Leone. Um, in 2023, you actually win the African Fashion Brand of the Year. Right? How yeah. did that feel? How was it? Well, um, that I would say not one of um, my greatest achievements because when you oh. look at um, the people and we, then we did nominate for all. These okay. are top designers as well. Mm -hmm. But um, if you look back, um, they show them we, I don't go the past three years. Mm -hmm. You see exactly what you really do. You mentioned about um, People they talk about say me together things from Nigeria and all. But once we need able to stay away from right now, Nigeria they dominate the fashion space. Because even when you go to London, you go to other places, you see a lot of Nigerian stylists, Nigerian fashion designers there. I remember when I do the one pot collection mm -hmm. for African fashion week um, in London, I got a, a lot of um Fabrics and from Sierra Leone, Unko, the yeah. Gara, the Lippi, yeah, and I mean, all the stuff. Mm -hmm. But after the show, 
I do a whole collection. Wait till I find out. We the people, the people in Australia, we're not ready for accept what we get. Hmm. Even when people they come, you tell them say, "But I want marry." You tell them, say, "Okay, I think so." If we use Zonko, we make an jackets, just like what you wear. Like. So we will mm. use Zonko. You okay, no. Nah, no, it will look like Senamori, man. So you understand? <laughs> but you get a fashion designer in a Congo, a Congolese fashion designer. Mm -hmm. We do a whole band, um, a whole um, collection with them, the local fabric. When I let it, um, now then um, 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 then comes we close, hmm. and that guy they make a lot of money right now. So first thing, the market, the market will accept what you do yeah, because you know I'm gonna put money into something that at the end of the day people are not come, they're not they're, they're not buy them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So one the one pot collection now be a test. You understand? You get few people and we come. Of course, a lot of people are love for a lip. Yeah. Gara in normal. Yeah. But a lot of people in the afraid for wear Ronko. But you know, since I like what you say, where you wear Ronko, we know some them society man them they wear Ronko. So I think that that, that they for that, that connection maybe. Well, um, I think my next collection, what did we get for be like a purely with Ronko. Okay. And I'm sure this time around people and go ready for for where I'm. But another one for say, like what you mentioned, say they don't want for I think say if you've been doing a London, but not to probably all man be able for see that day. So we say I'm because of Facebook and everything else. And I'd be like how you do the whole, you know, I think you go to drama and yes, all that. Course. You know, I think that was really, really dope. You really represent me really well. Um, but you get for really maybe just start for do a Sierra Leonean big show with with that collection. And you of Yusef, you know, you had a whole brand for Yusef. We able to let people then see. Look like prints, for example. Oma mean no prints as that one style. Uh, yes. But I think, say, uh, um, just fabulous. But I know Frederica, he begins to have yes. to do a different one. Yeah. Then criticize in the beginning. And not so we don't have to print. You know, we one way, one way. Now, it changed. And this is we can go on with a small number, but eventually, we they, we they take them and just run with it. You understand? So, in other words, what you say, you know, they like the foreign yes, looking. Yes, exactly. Because a lot of people, where they come, um, wait till me can say most time where I can get um interview like this. Um, I always mention say, wait till wrong because when you go out of say, like for example, I don't do Nigeria for a long time. Mm -hmm. When you see Osama, man, you know say this now Osama. man. When you see Yoruba, you know say this now Yoruba. Mm -hmm. When you see Igbo, you know say from the way they dress. Okay. Then a lot of Sri Lankans them, we they try for steal from them people and they. Mm -hmm. You understand? We got a very unique culture. I think we need, there is a lot of work we need for do. Okay. And the man, um, I think we could count on the later because mm -hmm. that's why I get to show what the tribe organized when the man behind the meat. You understand? Wow. We purely, wait in that show they get for like, like for showcase Sierra Leone. Okay. And I'm sure me and the Minister of Tourism will discuss about that day, about a month ago. I don't get in blessing because this now a way for a lot of people and begin say, okay, just like how they go buy clothes and from Senegal and Guinea. Then Guinea yeah, and the self will be... come for come by. Yes. I think so for now collectively, um, it go work. And because I don't have, I don't get other fashion designers now, so then they talk about everybody trying to do their thing, you know, separately and things like that. We in Adanda we get for can talk about how you see the fashion industry and how on all able to work together. Could you talk about this so if we've been really nice and all come together, then it's very, very much possible. But don't go anywhere because I'll be right back after this commercial break. Small businesses are not small. They keep you pumped. They keep you learning. They keep you health. They keep you stylish. They keep you fed. Happy birthday to you. They keep you smiling. We can do all of this because they keep us moving. At UBA, we keep your small business moving because your business is big business. Ready to get moving?
Welcome back to Alien Kids to the Rural Talk Show. If you just walked in, I have Mumani Fashion. Of course, not in, not the face behind the brand. However, the brand not new. It only did in existence from 1961. Can you imagine before I was born? So it actually take over from in daddy. You understand? So most of the things that we people they say about the Nigerian effect and everything else, he's actually half Nigerian. But anyways, welcome back, Abdul. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. For um, we Before we go on a break, we talk about um, how Unawafo really pushed the Sierra Leonean, you know, fabrics. For example, like we said, the Ronco, the, the, you know, the, the um, how you call it, country clothes and all these things. But one thing we uh, I know is, speaking to other designers, it seemed like we say, Unawafo do their own thing versus Unawafo you know, come together. Unawafo say, okay, me get this brand and me do this. For example, there was some point where Look at Gara, we all go up with Gara. Yeah. It's just be to say, I think, whether it was between Madame Woki or Isaiah, whoever revived Gara, or my big take ownership. I'm thinking for most small, yeah, Gara, it just be to say no more, and I don't can, you know, rebrand them in a way. Yeah. So I think that under the effect, waiting, when I don't have for do, like you per se with the other men, or like you say, with this show, you have for do. You have for do them, um, you know, independently, or you have for get other designers and make it happen. Well, okay, which I do um, last year for the African Fashion Week. Uh, being as somebody we love for work um, with other designers and other creatives, I think, you know, me, Manu, and Juliana Sungo, yeah, okay. me, Manu Kucho, mm -hmm. um, they shown along the last year, now be, now we two do them, you understand? Mm -hmm. The collection what I do, not to be just me, okay. now be me and Juliana Sungo do that collection day for African Fashion Week last okay, year. Okay. So, but there's another thing we I not okay like for talk publicly, mm -hmm. but that is not the fact. Everybody one day at the top, you understand? Mm -hmm. You get this type of um, superiority things. All my one look like na me na the biggest na me start time na me. You understand? Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, when on a walk. As a team, mm -hmm. you go really, really, really see the result. We all live, go Ghana, we all go Nigeria, we see. But when you go, when did they do um, the Lagos Fashion Week? Most of the designers then, then get a lot when they do. Okay. Then, when we go Durban last September, which I learned from Durban, mm -hmm. the Durban Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. um, then this lady, Mabel Bidede and... Um, Fashion one as well, we travel with three. Mm -hmm. Then get a collection where they do weighing about um, 52 designers. Whoa. Yes. These are upcoming designers. They sponsor each one designer for the one dress. You understand? 52 okay. designers. 52. Wow. So you get 52 outfits. Outfit. Now the, the finale for close the show. You understand? Yeah, that's nice. So if you don't start that kind of collaboration, that early stage, mm -hmm. when they reach up there, which you which which you did which you did look at, you understand? Mm -hmm. So now, when you talk about Gara, I remember me not a small bubble, we may provide the same Gara go Nigeria. Now the salon Gara and then me want then ten and day. Imagine. But now look waiting to happen now. Now the other way, mm -hmm. the Nigerian guy, whether they call her the way I see everybody the way they are the NIA. Mm -hmm. What about the people in Amanikala and Makini way they do them Gara and they you don't put them out of job. You understand? Oh, yeah. So if we accept waiting with they do, yes Madam Woken and they do a very good job and easily and all. But it got for be a collaborative effort. You understand? We all get for count to one and say, okay, not to because Madam Woki do this myself not for the one. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, if we all as a designer come to one and begin to, you can make sure, see, you just see the money, not to we just go make money, even them people in the way they, way they do the gaga locally. Yeah, exactly. Because you understand? Then they put them together for... So, if yeah. me go now, for example, I go buy what of 20 million all Leon's gaga to one Mamina Makini. That small money don't make so... No. no. You understand? Right. The market is there. Everybody they work there, everybody they work. Let me talk about like the man behind the meat. Me, it got for be like a own cool collection. Because we get for make sure say let people accept it. This is not to Sokoma, not to Poma, not to you understand. Society close. Mm -hmm. Not close where people are able to work. Then 
the other society people if they want work and then get it, you will then go away. And then you go design yes. unit different exactly. way. Exactly. We go modernize that place where yeah. we go able to. And I think what you say um um actually was um, correct. I think Nada okay say oh man the fit for saying I mean I mean the power struggle. And yeah. Exactly. And Nada did a book salon. I could tell people and say, look what you say, you know, we young, young ways, some of the things that's what they happen. Yeah, if we don't grow now, don't learn from parents to tell for revive a lot of things. Not so we start them, you understand? But I noticed that, especially Una, the fashion designers, they all man they talk to each other, but it's like, like I said, uh, you know, I have a lot of friends in there, but everybody's really do their own thing. Yeah. You know, but for you as Mumni Fashion, what you go say now, you own you own brand press. So what's it like way I mean they know you for? Like what is your particular, you know, style? Well, um, let me say, take me out um, as a creative director of Mumini Fashion. Okay. Mumini Fashion, the brand itself, um, I would say me that they don't create a niche. You understand? If you look at um, the Fulaton people, um, the Furabi people, um, these are people me that they work for mainly. Okay. So, once we hear about Mumini Fashion, first we can in mind that they are Agbada. You understand? Okay. Now, Agbada, they know the brand for mm. the Kaftan. The Gamboa, of course, now Gamboa not the into fashion again because the people that will be the work done before now, they, the Maracapa, they will be the into diamond, they come mm -hmm. from Tongo, Kono, now they will be wearing clothes in the. Mm -hmm. So these are the outfit women that they do. But uh, mainly, because they do a lot of weddings and Komojari, they can call Pulado, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, then for me, you know how they want to dress like um, mm -hmm. the. Now, now you over people, I know what I say, um, now almost you over, these are you over yeah. people, of course. So, Mumini Fashion, everybody knows say, the first thing we hear about Mumini Fashion, you think about the Agba, Agba yes, Dad exactly. And, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I mean, I'm glad if I know, not only just Agba Dad, but I know, say, recently they do really nice pieces with, you know, images. Like, like yeah, of course, um, oh, yes, then they're not just... Um, other side of the, okay. business. Of the business. Um, yes. You just decide yes. for do that. Yes. Because then they actually buck around. It's not really I mean, I know see with you, it's for they use people the images and stuff like that. But I don't see quite I don't see them around quite a lot. Different designers. Yeah. Yes, um, well we if you see the um, the Bible where all mm -hmm. man will say yes. Now we the design yeah, the Bible. Bible yes. Okay. Now we the because one thing I'll see people in the print them and we try for do like a um, hand painting, you understand? Uh -huh. Not to not to print with the print. Okay. Not to print in. If you go anytime, um, oh, okay. you get a chance for kind of the shop. You go see when they do uh -huh. live. Then they do the live painting and everything. Not to send a print with the print. Okay. And that make um we make your own difference yes. and things like that. Yeah. All right, well, cool. I mean, Momini Fashion, of course, like we say, when you think about the brand, you think about the Agbada and this new one we bring, we are really like, when I make actually mention them, because I noticed you know each day. Yeah. Um, like we the the walking like canvas, we call them the walking canvas. The walking canvas. Yeah. I need a piece. Sure. All sure. right, so I need to go to the shop and see, but anyways, don't go anywhere because I'll be right back after this commercial break. Doro World Traveler. How is your Miami vacation going? Fine, babe. I'll be back next week and I've bought you a lot of things. Well, I hope the designer bag you promised is included. No excuse this time. That expensive bag? Uh, babe. I am now in Malaysia. UBA cards work from Moscow to Malaysia, from Malaysia to Miami. Bros, you can't escape this time. Uh, babe, babe, are you there? I can't hear you again, though. Your line is breaking. Hello? Hello? Wherever you travel in the world, don't go without your UBA card. UBA, Africa's global bank. Welcome back to LNK to the World Talk Show. Today we talk about fashion, and of course, I get one of the biggest fashion designers in Sierra Leone. We go by the name Abdub, of course, is Momini Fashion. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back. Thank you very much. Man. You know, it's so funny. I think the way we spelled out, you know, I, but actually, I just like the, the fact that you know, I mean, they call us Caesar, but Za Fashion Za. Anyways, so before we go on the break, of course, we don't talk about ways to make Mumini fashion different, and you don't date for a while. And you mentioned something for say you or Joseph Natela. Yeah. 
You understand? So I know some people thinking, yes, you go able to get the talents, but until now you get people ready to do them. But any of your recent collections, you actually see them being machine in and so any of them? Well, um, it don't it don't take a while now. I know it's so yeah. <laughs> I think um which I do we cut I cut a lot. Okay. Yes. Of uh, most of the collection where they come out. And um quite recently we get um the summer collection. We even with our ex on uh, one of these pieces for the summer collection. Okay. Because um you know fashion um now a different trend now. Mm -hmm. We know just you don't like um just say agbada 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 and all right. So if you look which are right now, yeah, so, this, and yeah. another one I forbid me next question for say how you able to come up with all these designs? So until you they sketch, you can see that you imagine them or now one panel the way, you know, there's a saying I can always tell people there's a saying in America say still some of these ideas make yours better. Well um there's something um it can be very difficult for um when you, when you say that, I think somebody tell me, say, ah, so I'm not like for made up stories and everything. <laughs> so then it's been a person when they sleep. Mm. You understand? Then the most, anybody who know me, when I'm out there, like many of the people's man, I love crowd, I love it. I let people them outside. But when I go home, I don't want to see nobody. I, I don't like for see nobody. <laughs> you, see, you understand? <laughs> so the moment where I can do to myself, so mm -hmm. I can think a lot. You understand? Mm -hmm. There's nothing new about fashion because every tool they do now you cycle, they right, recycle. Right. You understand? All these big brands, they will tell you so nah, there's nothing new. You understand? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you sit down and think like, okay, if I do this, how I go look like if we do this, you understand? Mm -hmm. So then of course um, I guess stylists and what they work with. Okay. You understand? We then set a part of the brand. I got two ladies um, and um, then they do extremely well. Mm -hmm. So some of these pieces where you see out that and we say, okay, this is not your idea, but I think if we do this, if we do this not so good. you understand? Okay. So me I've always consulted them. What mm -hmm. do you think about this? What do you think about this? So now that they make the band unique as well. All right, cool. Well, I mean, the question I recycle, they recycle. But yeah. I think, say, for every time I see you, even I don't see you quite often, but you're always wearing something different. We, I could just wonder, like, I wonder how you see them and come up with all of this. Even when you just walked in, you know, that like elastic or something, you just cost. <laughs> <laughs> even though brackets were in black and white, so yeah, exactly, I thought I'd put yeah, red exactly. on top of it. I just want to mention that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like I'm, you know, yeah. I'm just ready for I know what's it. Maybe say go with my England lady. I don't even know what to come with because I don't see pictures. I think you were in some country and you were on top of a horse and all that. I think that was the first time I was like, who that is? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and then one Thanksgiving, I think I even reshared the, yes, yes, the video yes, before I yes. officially meet you yes. and I just loved everything about it. Yeah. Me, I like people that are different, you I know, know, like I say, we can do what all man they do, but I just, you know, I may be the, the simplest girl, but I can always say inside our world is not me wanting inside our world day. Um, so we have a lot of competition out there, of course, you see, you get other people them, and I know, say, like I said, when I already know they see one side. Um, how do you deal with them as far as competitive? You said they're not the same way for say, you said I feel say I'm up there or you just did not you only knowing I'm the best at what I do. Well, for me, I compete with myself. Okay. You understand? And um, as a creative, you no need for go out there and tell people and say, I made that the best. Okay. I never remember say, I don't see them or one on one, tell somebody, say, me not the best designer, as well, you know. No, mm -hmm. I think there are lots of people in Kentucky. Um, and there's another thing um, when you see me or you go to me, social media, the first way you can I mind this guy, not some bad guy, not some, <laughs> you understand? But me not that kind of person, when you take fashion out of me, I'm just a normal person. Okay. You understand? Just quiet, let me small corner, do me thing and all. So, most of them people are like, yeah, you some brand talk, say, ah, on the left hand bone, I'm about co hype, not this, not that. But on the other way, if you're about co hype, then the, the numbers are there. You understand? A good work will speak for itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you just yesterday, somebody came to me in the office, they tell me, say, hey, my man, last week there, I won't go after you, say, they don't go home, you know, tell me, mm -hmm. look the close way and go so for me, but any woman. 
All I said, well, the clothes fine. You don't understand. <laughs> he got it back. No, yeah. You know. So there's another thing again with people. Um, to be honest, I get a lot of um, politicians and uh, where they work for. Okay. Um, then they give them a lot, but you know, some, some this thing are like ideology. Mm. Where you don't use for where the brand. I let somebody do good work, and I can't give you. They take her like I say. You walk, ask me, how you see this clothes? You understand? Yeah. You want me approval. But to be honest, some of these things, they are really, really nice. They're really good. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. You, you don't expect me for wear other person in brand again. No, because you, you understand. Be so I always wear my brand. But to be honest, with something nice, I'll tell you, see, this nice. is nice. You get designers and I already do very well. I'll go on your Instagram page. I'll come and see. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's the spirit. Yeah, and when you like also now when you talk about the collaboration, um, we say like when you do um London Fashion Week. Yeah, I don't even know to be honest. Yes. So you actually collaborated with with um, um, Juliana Songo. Yes. Yeah. So I think say so, not I really need for do because like I can tell you I've had quite a few, and they said the same thing. You know, you guys are not together. You guys are not together in a way. Except when this kind of opportunity come, then of course I know say few of them be go London Fashion Week and everything else. But as moment the, the 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 brand your your fashion, what you go see now some of your challenges that we really face. Well, one um um I, I think um then the agenda agenda um I know I know we say personal okay. because every designer will say that one day. For me, I get um, things say what I want to do. I love for the quality work. Okay. I'll tell you, say the country don't make unable to certain things say what I want to do. How the country, when you get into price, the range, you understand? Range. Mm -hmm. You don't expect me for don't do close rather than spend over $200 for for this one. Mm -hmm. Then you all can sell and give $400 or $50. You understand? So for me, that's not the biggest challenge. And I say, I say like, that's something that limits me, yeah. me work. So for now, in as much as we work for people in there and tell that I go work for Sierra Leone and them. Mm -hmm. But I think, say, now the brand for going international now, that that's not my main focus. Okay. So you did prepare towards that? Because you don't begin to go international. Well, you go to London, we, you know, Fashion Week. Um, I think it was the Durban runway. So it goes small. No, it don't go because um, I get a lot of um, clients and we, they are not Sierra Leoneans. Okay. Just see so you work online or two them shows and they, they order for me and all. all right. So um, look now um, on the 17th and the 20th, I get shows in the uh, 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 UK. And these okay. are not, not just Sierra Leoneans and not to Africans. Oh, if wow. you go online and check about Pale London, then you do one of the biggest fashion exhibitions in London. Mm -hmm. For letting people and they even invite you for come for the exhibition, it's a, it's a big, it's it's a big deal. deal. Okay. You know, so um, I think um, a lot of people in there out there where they watch and, and we know so yes. And, and from this London fashion people, now they get the connection or just the social media or things like that? Well, they do a lot of um, shows them Again, then I can send things same when I can get an um, exhibition. Okay. So people in the way they were, just like I tell you, um, most time, then shows in the you get all the stylists and we can come, uh -huh. where they work, we can come scout, like, okay, just like calling the scout footballers and no more. Mm -hmm. They will say, oh, I love what you do. I get people that go love to work with you. We mm -hmm. get stores them at different places, um, or love for. Forget to carry get brand you. and things like that. Yes. That's All right. Way. So I almost can't go on the break, but this last one. So for you, you could say it's a lucrative business. Many you make money. I know you say the challenges are because you want to do so much and you not go spend Baku, then they pay you less. But just in the thing that you do now, you actually they make a very, money a, a very, very lucrative. Then I will say because okay. um, I remember when I start, a lot of people and say my man I do about work here good. So for me, just tell like we you abuse me, Papa, because this I'm a daddy in trade. Okay. You understand? I remember, like, my close friends, um, they were like, Sam, I don't want to look for a white collar job, man. You don't need, you can go to, which you be, now which you love, now you do so. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Men, we know the salary scale in Sierra Leone at the moment. Right. <laughs> so for me, what I do is very, very lucrative. Right. Because at the end of the day, I get over up to 15 staff as I talk to you, so we're on the payroll. 
So if not be located, I will be able to pay all the people and then you know. So you are the obligation of the part business. I'm pretty sure King can get to you. No, 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 Hi, I am Leo, a super geek who's obsessed with artificial intelligence. I'm sure you're wondering how I got here. Hi, Tony. It's been hard trying to find a quick way to send the cash across to you. The bank is quite far from where I stay. Girl, I'm trying to call that pop-up shop I saw on IG. I need them shoes for a party this weekend. Wait a minute. I can solve all these problems. All I have to do is get back to my geek zone and get cracking. That's how I created this great virtual solution. Chat with me on Facebook Messenger and experience a whole new world of banking solutions without going to the bank. Make transfers, buy airtime, <laughs> get account statements and more. After all, going to the bank is boring. Like, I can't drink this delicious coffee and fill a teller at the same time. Get it? I'm almost at the end of the show. Welcome back to Ellen Case of the World Talk Show. If you just walked in, I have Abdel here, of course, way in at the, in the, you know, the CEO of, say, for Mumini Fashion. Even though Mumini Fashion, of course, is not for me in Papa, you know, from 1961. However, it take them and they run with them. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Um, of course, we don't talk about everything we don't do. I think, see, you know, I'm possibly a really that represents Sierra Leone well. But I'm happy that you mentioned the reasons for the Nigerian production. Because to be honest, that didn't be one part of the major things that we, some of we still are kind of like, we say, okay, fine. We're proud to say made in Sierra Leone, but if it's been done somewhere else, then what's the made in Sierra Leone? But I, I get them, and look what you clearly say. I think um, now all man in, in, in challenges them. All the designers we don't talk and go tell you, see, you know, gain access to fabrics. You know, of course, all the FF accessories. And, you know, in our world, you know, more. Now, the other thing, and the way, and also, they also they complain about, say, if, let's say, a, a, a bride wants a certain amount, you know, certain dress. But I say, don't take her, take her, take her. What you charge now, it seems like it's not expensive. So, what do you know that you have to put in place together? I make a believe say this collaboration for really help. What do you have to put together for making them get access to fabrics or accessories or things like that? Okay, um, for me, um, personally, mm -hmm. even before bringing me tellers, mm -hmm. um, I do me and survey. Okay. One, I talk to a lot of um, them people that already bring fabric. Necessarily, and what they will tell you say, you will be one of the people that are going to come by for me. Mm. Then, if you not come, the material go jolly down, so nobody know they will go buy. So then, self get a young fear like you know, we'll sell something like you, you need request now, say you want something of quality. Mm -hmm. How much of one will they come by? You understand? Mm -hmm. For me, for police, I'm not any big deal. You understand? Okay. But there's one thing. Work a look at my customers. Them, um, these are top clients. Them, um. you know. Let me just ask a question. If you can give me ten thousand leon, say, move me police for me one outfit. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna market get them fifty leon material, spend like three hundred thousand per fabric, and do production. You know, please, I don't cheat the customer. Right. Yeah. Then secondly, it will be. A damage to the brand so because you, exactly you know only somebody where you close then they say yes I and so they go check mm -hmm. or you know neatly done and everything. Mm -hmm. What will be so if you watch everything you will see say the finishing you understand? Yeah. Because sometimes people don't care about the embroidery and everything. Like I think so. But come always have yeah, because yeah, the first week and I yeah. start now the first thing is the beginning look the finishing okay. or proper finishing and all that day. Mm -hmm. You understand? So now. The material is not there. So I think to me, my brand is not reach that level and I say, I will bring bulk material come. Oh, okay. I don't need to go out there again for go take. Go yes. Mm -hmm. But look at the power outage again as you How much money we spend on fail at the moment. A you lot. understand? We spend a lot of money mm -hmm. on fail. So all that they can discourage. But we know they discourage over them things and they. So for me, we they do, I will tell you now, now like 70% um, production as Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. then 30% in Nigeria. Okay. And the 30% is what they do in Nigeria because these are people now, then they work for different brands like 
you know, so not play the you car. Know, they're not exclusive to you. You understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then get walk away with the cell and calm them. Can I place and can't warm? Mm -hmm. Hey, you can ask me, say, I'll go pay ticket for that person. The police can do certain work, then it go back. No loss to me. Right. So, and you get people like they request for them certain design and this. So I just got to do the production in Nigeria. Okay. And apart from that, let me talk about generally, even though all these big brands, then they're America, but some of these brands not to America, they do them production. No. <laughs> you get brands in the UK, not to UK, they do them production. Okay. So it doesn't matter who side the production they gone. But I think what's in matter, like which will be the discourse now, mm -hmm. they would do with local the fabrics. Local fabrics and, and let them know say this. Is from Sierra Leone. All right, cool. Um, also, you mentioned about this the big fashion um, show and idea where I think they are really like I pray it, it become fruitful and come to, to pass. We're not the man behind the myth. You understand? When you plan for do the show, how many designers you plan for be involved with? And I know you also mentioned say now we want to do like local. So every designer probably get for invites. You want me to all just design in the local on a un brand number go do the local stuff and then we just can showcase their own style. Well, um, the man there in the mid, I said, um, I think about like um, one, the only show I don't do in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. uh, Threats of Sierra Leone, where they may do for Idris Elba and Sabrina Elba, okay. where me, Madame Woki, Izilia, yeah. and other people let me do. That was in um, 2018 or 2019, yeah, December. Yeah, actually we modified it. Yes, yeah. I remember it really, yes. Yeah. You remember the show. <laughs> so that was not the only show I don't do here locally. Ah, okay. Then, say from the program they work in doing, I mean, show, mm -hmm. normally, when we can get pop-up sale, I can go call me dramas, call me models, and wear the clothes okay. we do. Okay, just showcase Yes. You. Okay. Now, the exposure is there. I don't see the weakness. I don't see fashion shows them how they do on air. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of overlap from. Okay. You understand? So based on the type of exposure I don't get, mm -hmm. I don't see are they at this point in time I able to do a show wherein when anybody will come, you know, say, oh, this is a proper this... fashion show. All right. Based on the people I want to work with outside. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I love for build relationship. Okay. Most of them show producers that uh, I can talk to them, always tell them about Sierra Leone. But it may you too know, say, when you travel out of Sierra Leone, when you tell somebody about Sierra Leone, they're not savvy salon. <laughs> you get for go Google, you get for go Instagram, they show them, you understand? Right. So for me, let we bring them people that I come, then they can see what we get. Mm -hmm. But they show now like, exclusive show I want to do for me on okay, brand. For you on brand, okay. you understand? Mm -hmm. Probably the next one we'll get to other fashion designers. Um, okay. I will invite them, let them come watch. But now, ex yes. So when will we expect to show you soon? Well, we look at um first week October, but we still the work on them. If not, it will be first week in January, twenty twenty-five. Okay. All right. Well, we we'll look forward to them. Um, what you go say now? You price range. You don't have to be specific in your prices. But like we say, you look for do iron stuff. You have a lot of politicians who are your customers. You get a lot of diasporans, uh, returnees who are your customers. All this. But you say something earlier, right? Like we say, you actually work with everyone. You did do fashion for all man. But what's your price range like from waiting to waiting? Well, um, we the minimum now uh, two thousand. When are two million old leons. The minimum? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, the walking canvas. That is, uh, and, 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 <laughs> the, and, the, and the joking, and lean for, be like, come again, say, what? Uh, <laughs> ahead, and the walking, can, the walking canvas and can go for 1,500. Okay. When are 1 million 500 um, old leons. Old leons, okay. Then, with the charge based on the quality of the fabric. Mm. You understand? But any you look at um, on a young outfit, the more expensive person outfit. So if you don't start <laughs> two thousand for the man, ne? <laughs> we you already say we own the more expensive. Now they talk generally, woman clothes are more okay, expensive. No you know, all so the ladies, minimum, you know. the bottom line is the minimum 
is 2000 but i mean I, I i see your work like we said the quality is there and everything else so you get for pay for waiting on for where um so you know and i mean good luck to everything that you're doing of course we'll go come support the show but lastly before we go what advice you would give to an upcoming designer somebody to watch you right now or they see you around they follow you on social media as a fan aspiring to be you and even other designers which will be your last words to them well um to the upcoming designers then I want to let you believe in yourself. Okay. Don't make nobody tell you, say, you're not able to do this. Because that that word, they don't kill a lot of people in the in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. Where you start for do something, and tell you, say, ah, go go sit down, idleness. Mm -hmm. Not even limit yourself to the people and the which they say. Okay. Above all, put God first. Because for me, I always tell people, and so sorry, I show the prayers. You know, not able world would live so. Oh, yes. People and they will just hate you because of a lot of people that like you. Yeah. It happened to me. Some people are like, we you come, kind of like, what are this guy about? What's so special about him? You know, <laughs> so put God first and get a steady focus. Okay. Because a lot of people and go talk, go tell you, say, ah, this, this. Then, secondly, the fashion business, a lot of people want to do fashion business right now. Mm -hmm. I tell you, say earlier, it look creative. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, when you look at the other side, the disappointment, the frustration sometimes, it did. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Certain way they do when they meet you, they see the business like this, we don't reach up, so they say they can't do You understand? Mm -hmm. You want to stay or you want right. shut down. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, not look at them back, say everything is rosy. So, once you get for look about, okay. This are they come. Whatever happened, I still did. Okay. I make money a day. I don't make money a day. A day. Yeah, for keep yeah. going, yes. basically. That's the most important thing. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, even though you don't bring gifts for me, but they can't take me your gifts on your shop. Sure. However, <laughs> but me get gifts for you. Wow. Um, wow. Yes. My gifts, <laughs> of course, sponsored by Ecot and t shirt by Pro Sports. Um, but this is for you. Oh, um, thank you very yes. much. Thank I you want by tell each that you shop, definitely, <laughs> huh? No, no. I, yeah, I and I have a, you know, like I said, um, I have this really nice flexi award. Um, you know, this is for all the hard work. Um, wow. And you representing Sierra Leone. <laughs> So this, I want to you go pull you walking canvas. Yeah. Design for Didi. Me too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm By the way, yeah, thank this, you very this much. is all for you. Thank you. Thank wow, you so thank much. You very much. And, thank and you all very the much. best. Um, I don't want to go, Bob Gatsuga. I've been your host today, Ellen Keita. Till next week. Bye.